Thank you. Thanks. That's right. Reno represents right now, right here. Um, and I want to say thank you for inviting us to come and present our piece. Uh, this is Michelle Riley. She is the artist behind this, also known as Phoenix Rising. So, Michelle, go. Uh, is this the clicker? Yeah, that's the clicker. Michelle Riley, Phoenix Rising. And let's see if we can go back. Do we have that one picture? Uh, no. Oh, we don't have no. the picture we sent? OK. We don't have the picture. OK. Um, I want to start with a little bit about why, uh, who I am. I've been going to Burning Man for a while, and I was a fine art sculptor with government grants, and I was really dissatisfied. Then I met a guy who took me to Burning Man, and it ached in my bones with my classical art that I really didn't fit in. So I was quiet and was told by a Burning Man official that jump on a project and learn. So I did that for three years. So when the thing came up, this year of Da Vinci, I jumped all over it and said, oh my gosh, I have to go for it. Scared to death, my first project. I've had experience, but I came up with, if it's Da Vinci, then how could I participate? And I thought to myself, I have to get inside his mind. And that's where the inspiration comes from, is getting inside the mind of a beautiful artist. Let's see next. I have some experience with uh, some builders. Uh, I jumped on with Matt Schultz, and uh, I also did Big Bronzes. The MGM line in Las Vegas was my apprenticeship with Snell Johnson. And I went to the generator and said, um, what suckers? They're working for free, blah, blah, blah. And then I drank the Kool-Aid, and I'm totally submersed. I have a studio space there. I'm working there now. Can I say this? I'm going to jump yes. in here. Yes. Okay. So. Michelle is the reason that Embrace had all sorts of muscle structure and facial structure, because originally, as a person who was working on Embrace, we just stapled wood. And then she showed up and she said, let me show you how to do this. And so she's the reason that when you saw Embrace, you actually saw faces, not just blobs of wood up there. So that's a very important part of this. She has brought this amazing piece out here and this is what we're working on and there's a huge passion for both of us for this piece. Okay, I just had to say that about Embrace because you guys saw Embrace, you needed to see the structures. Okay, <laughs> and we have two minutes. Okay, we have an amazing team. You know about me, Wrecking House is a collaborative of uh, a company who has helped facilitate pieces to get to the, the playa and we have a, uh, uh, what kind of artist is that? It's, 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 it's a new media artist and he does neon and has museum experiences and installations, Scott Morgan, and then project manager, of course you know. Here's some of uh, Scott Morgan's work, samples of what's gonna be in, in Wrecking House. And the experience, here's the experience. Imagine, you're in a dust storm at Burning Man. This has been my fantasy since I've seen art out there. You, you emerge on a big face, and it comes up into you, and then you realize it's Da Vinci. You can touch his face and look him in the eye. As you walk around to the back, it's a classical piece. You're going to discover that there's things that you can interact with that will blow your mind. So classical to experience to blow your mind. The size of the piece is 23 feet long, 10 feet wide, and about 10 feet tall. So the, open, the back end will be open for you to get inside and play around with the mind of Da Vinci. And the medium is going to be um, metal, glass, and reinforced concrete acid stained. So it will be uh, pretty stable, and it will look like aged marble and, and stone and, and uh, metals. Keep going. We have less than a minute. Uh, Community, this is gonna be built with old and young, everybody participating. With the experience of the generator, we have lots of people who come and want to volunteer. The momentum of the piece has attracted a large group of people, skilled and non-skilled, and a lot of people will get to participate in this. And the community experience afterwards is to create an environment where people can gather and uh, socialize and congregate their own thoughts of great thinking of how can they combine structures with great art. So you can also, hmm? next picture, next picture. These are our needs. 
So this is what we need, all this stuff. Take a picture of it. <laughs> cement, cement, and more cement. Yeah. So we are self-funded, and we can use any help that you can possibly give us. Thank you. Thank you very much.